Hello and welcome to the session. Let us discuss the following question. It says, prove that the ratio of the area of two similar triangles is equal to the ratio of the squares of their corresponding sides. Using the above, prove that the area of the equilateral triangle described on the side of a right-angled isosceles triangle is half the area of the equilateral triangle described on its hypotenuse. So let's now move on to the solution. Let us see what we have to prove. We have to prove that the ratio of the area of two similar triangles is equal to the ratio of the squares of their corresponding sides. So what is given to us? We are given that triangle ABC is similar to triangle EQR. And let's now write what we have to prove. We have to prove that the ratio of the area of the triangles, that is area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle PQR is equal to the ratio of the square of their corresponding sides, that is AB square upon PQ square is equal to BC square upon QR square is equal to CA square upon RP square. This is what we have to prove. Let's now do some construction to prove this. draw a perpendicular AD to BC and PS to QR. Let's now start the proof. We know that the area of the triangle is given by the formula 1 by 2 into base into height. So, area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle PQR is equal to, the area of triangle ABC will be 1 by 2 into base of triangle ABC which is BC into the height of the triangle ABC which is AD upon area of triangle PQR which is 1 by 2 into base of triangle PQR which is QR into height of triangle PQR which is PS. So this is equal to BC upon QR into AD upon PS. 1 by 2 gets cancelled with 1 by 2. Now, in triangles ADB and PSQ, angle B is equal to angle Q. This is because triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR and also angle ADB is equal to angle PSQ because each is 90 degrees. Right. So this implies triangle ADB is similar to triangle PSQ by AA similarity so this implies that the ratio of their corresponding sides are equal so we have AB upon P 
PQ is equal to AD upon PS but AB upon PQ is equal to VC upon QR because triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR because if two triangles are similar then their ratio of their corresponding sides are equal so AB upon PQ is equal to BC upon QR now AB upon PQ is equal to AD upon PS but AB upon PQ is also equal to BC upon QR so from 1 and 2 we have AD upon PS is equal to BC upon QR. Now, let's name this as star. So, from star, We have area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle PQR is equal to BC upon QR into AD upon PS but from 3 we have area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle PQR is equal to BC upon QR into BC upon QR since AD upon PS is equal to BC upon QR so this is equal to BC square upon QR square also since Triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR. The ratio of their corresponding sides are equal. So AB upon PQ is equal to BC upon QR is equal to CA upon RP. So this implies AB square upon PQ square is equal to BC square upon QR square is equal to CA square upon RP square. Let's name this as 4 and this is 5. So from 4 and 5 we have area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle PQR is equal to AB square upon PQ square is equal to BC square upon QR square is equal to CA square upon RP square. Since area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle PQR is equal to BC square upon QR square and BC square upon QR square is equal to AB square upon PQ square and it is also equal to CA square upon RP square. So the ratio of the area of two similar triangles is equal to the ratio of the squares of their corresponding sides. Hence we have proved the result. Let's now see the second part of the question what it says. It says that using the above prove that the area of the equilateral triangle described on the side of a right angled isosceles triangle is half the area of the equilateral triangle described on its hypotenuse. Let us understand this through a figure. 
we are given a right angled isosceles triangle so the perpendicular and the base of the triangle will be equal since it's a isosceles triangle and one triangle is described on the side of the triangle abc and it's an equilateral triangle so this triangle is described on the base of the triangle abc so bc is equal to bd is equal to cd because this triangle is an equilateral triangle similarly one triangle is described on the hypotenuse of the triangle abc and this triangle is also an equilateral triangle so ac is equal to ce is equal to ea and also triangle bcd is an equilateral triangle and triangle ACE is also an equilateral triangle and we know that in an equilateral triangle each angle is 60 degrees so triangle ACE is similar to triangle BCD because each angle is 60 degrees so by AA similarity both triangles are similar so let's now write what we have just seen triangle ABC is right angled triangle and triangle BCD is similar to triangle ACE because angle ACE is equal to angle BCD is equal to 60 degrees. Similarly, angle AE C is equal to angle BDC is equal to 60 degrees. So by AA similarity, triangle BCD is similar to triangle ACE. Also, In triangle ABC, AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square, but AB is equal to BC, so it is BC square plus BC square. This is equal to 2BC square. Now since triangle BCD is similar to triangle ACE, the theorem which we have just proved by that theorem, area of triangle BCD upon area of triangle ACE is equal to the ratio of the squares of their corresponding sides. So, area of triangle BCD upon area of triangle ACE is equal to BC square upon AC square But AC square is equal to 2BC square. So we have BC square upon 2BC square which is equal to 1 by 2. So this implies area of triangle BCD upon area of triangle ACE is equal to 1 by 2 and this implies area of triangle BCD 
is equal to half the area of triangle ACE. And this is what we had to prove that the triangle described on the side of the right angled isosceles triangle has area, half the area of the triangle described on the hypotenuse of this right angled isosceles triangle. Hence, the result is proved. So, this completes the question and the session. Bye for now. Take care. Have a good day.